Hey Moglets, today we're doing the Sacred Sakura Ritual Cleansing. Usually I wouldn't make a video on a quest, but this is like the hardest quest I've ever done in Genshin. Uh, I got tripped up like several times. Also, if you do happen to come here to get help with the quest, there are going to be timestamps for the individual sections because it's a quite long quest. Anyway, you obtain the world quest here. You talk to her, and then you have to use Electro on this statue. Obtain the ward from the statue. Then you got to go to Kanda Village. There are a few people you need to talk to. Takaru up here on the roof. When I was initially doing this, I couldn't find him. Uh, he might only appear at night. I'm not too sure. So if you can't find him on one of the roofs, switch to nighttime. Takaru will tell you about a broken cart. Futuba here will tell you about some bags in the river. And Simon here will tell you about the well. You do also have to talk to the village chief here. And after that, you'll have these three circles with all the clues. You go back here to the well for the bag of Mora. Over here for the cargo bag fished out from water. And then over here, you got to kill some Hillichurls and you can investigate the broken cart. Then you just go back to the Conda chief, submit the items as he asks for them. Then you got to look for the chief's diaries up here on the roof, on top of his roof to be specific. Give it back to him. Then you just go to the little yellow area and defeat some samurais. Dig here, grab the old key for the well, use it on the well and hop on down and break open this rock. Before you drop down, get one of these electrograms. Get the chest real quick and head past the barrier. Now you have to put the ward you picked up earlier into the quest inside this little thing. I want to explain how the puzzle works in case you want to try and do it yourself. One will go to two, two will go to three, three will go to four, etc. So as you can see, if there are four that are marked with two of those little symbols, uh, this one will go to all four of them, as you can see. So the little diagram you see here corresponds to these items on the ground and you need to make this shape. So this one will always be one, you cannot change it, but for everyone else you can change. This is two already, which is good. Over here is three, this is five, and then this last one is four. Going counterclockwise, it is one, two, three, five, four. Here we go. And then you'll have a samurai to defeat. The next shrine you can get to, you can see in the quest page, it's the northeast of Konda Village. And here is the location of the shrine. Just continue on forward. Talk to the mysterious shadow. She will disappear. And there are three of these wandering around. Here is another one. The only goal here is to get all three of them at this fox statue, so don't talk to them once they're here. Here is another one. And she goes up here. And then the second one is also sitting at the fox statue. And the last one is up on this roof of the big shrine. And then she goes way back here to this tree. Talk to her again, and that should do it. Three chests for your efforts, and then investigate the center. We are now warping to Grand Narukami Shrine, where we talk to Inagi here. And then you'll get the Memento Lens. You're going to want to go ahead and equip that. And then you're going to want to look for these lit up Tanuki, or whatever the, they are. I kind of forgot by now. Just point your Memento Lens at them, and you will get the dialogue required to continue. The first line is at the bottom of the path here. The second line is near the entrance to the big shrine here. And the third line is just way out here. You can check it on the map. Then you go to the Kitsune statue and recite the words in the right order, which is the order at which they appear here. And with that, you can grab the second ward. Next, where you got the ward, use the memento lens on the little statue next to it. That'll pop up a Sealy. Follow that Sealy all the way to the entrance of the barrier. Which, if you happen to do that already, is right here on the map. A little bit lower, there's the shrine, there's the entrance. Once you're here, you'll need to purify by putting in the second ward. And here we have another puzzle. The one directly under the diagram will be set to two, and all of the other surrounding here will be set to three. This one, and this one. That should do the trick. And then, of course, you have to fight another samurai. And the last three shrine locations are detailed in your quest book. We're just going to go in order, starting with Chinyu Forest. So we're just going to warp down here. You can just start by going up the path here, and then we got to search for the source of the strange voice. Continue going up to the stairs until you meet some Hillichurls. Kill them, obviously. Talk to Big Statue Bear. And then you got to find three Tanuki in this yellow ring. One is here. There are going to be three Hillichurls. And the Tanuki is inside the barrel. One's just standing on the path here. You do have to follow it though. It'll be behind you and then it'll turn into a torch. Just light that up and you got the second one. Third one is over here at the bottom of the path. Again, just follow him. He's going behind here, then here, then he goes over here. And again, he has some torches. I believe it was this one. 
Yes, go back to Big Bear, and from there we're just heading to the next location of the barrier, which is right down here. Whoops. The Tanuki will open the path for you. Once again, put the ward in the thing. This one's a bit more difficult since there are different levels here. Set the two up here to two. This one, and the one over here on the branch. Set the one down here in the corner to three. And this one near the starting at four. And once again, you have a samurai to defeat. Next, we're heading to Araumi. The entrance to the next one is in that hole, but before we do that, you have to light up all these electro pillars. And to do that, you have to solve this puzzle. I can't really show how to solve that because it's a lot of trial and error for me. Once you hit all four electro pillars, you can hit this thing and then go back in the hole. Here, there will be a chest as well as four more of these little statues. Use your memento vision on them and then press these buttons on top of them and you can get to the bottom floor. Here's another one of these puzzles. The problem is they actually start off not too hard, but then you just start hitting blocks and then it becomes hard because you mess everything up. We're going to start by hitting this one. Again. Then we're going to go over here to the top right and hit this one twice. And there you go. Side note, when I first did this, I had no idea how these worked and that it turned these two. And I just messed the whole thing up and it took me like 20 minutes to figure this out when it's literally a four move puzzle. So that's hilarious. You could go down here now. There are more puzzles and things to do, but I'm focused just on this quest. There are going to be some more of these little statues. Use your memento on them and they'll reveal certain objects. Here's the electrogranum that you need to pass through this wall to get the ward from the statue. Don't forget to grab this chest on your way out. And then you can put the ward in this thing again and revealing the fourth puzzle. You do have to come up here and unlock this one as well by looking at it with the memento lens. If there is no adjust order here, just leave it and come back. I had that problem and was kind of confused. Like, okay, that one's just locked like that for whatever reason. Uh, anyway, over here we have the next. And with that, you should have all the pillars you need. The solution, going counterclockwise again, is one, three, two, two, three. And there you have it. One more samurai to kill. Again, there is actually quite a lot to do down here. Some sealies to put in there to open that gate. But you can always access this area later as well. So we're not going to do anything with that right now. And finally, we are going below the tidal flats outside the Kamisato estate. So you just warp to Kamisato estate, jump down over here on this little sort of island type deal. Use your memento lens on this little dude, get the ward. Then over here on this island near Kamisato Estate, you'll find some more Kitsune statues as well as the small one here you need to use the memento lens again on. And that'll create a hole for the last shrine. This one's a little annoying, you need to keep an electrogram on you all the time unless you want to get shocked to death. Purify the statue thing, and uh, there's the final-ish puzzle. We'll get to the rest later. This one's a little strange, so I'll just walk you through it. This is the starting one at one. And then behind it we have two, over here we have three, over here we have two, and over here we have three again. Let's go ahead and do it. Now we have two samurais to kill. After you've dealt with the samurais, you gotta report back. So go ahead and drop down into the well we were earlier, follow your way down the river, go back up the ladder and pick up another electrogranum so you can make it through the gate down there. Talk to her again. Teleporting back to Grand Narukami Shrine. Jump off this way towards the Electro Soup. Keep dropping down until you see this little golden pillar over there. After you talk to her again, head off into this purple abyss. And now it is boss time. First, we have a samurai to defeat. After the samurai goes down, we have another puzzle here. You are constantly getting shocked here, so you need to replenish your electrogranums as well. Again, counterclockwise, starting at one. It's one, two, three, five, four. And once you do that, this big uh, tumor comes down and you just gotta deal some damage to it. I assume it's capped at a certain amount of damage, so don't worry too much. Another samurai will come out, but this time uh, the miasma is shooting plasma balls at you. So it gets definitely kind of hectic. Just keep the electrogranums on you. Next puzzle, again clockwise, is one, two, three, five, four. And the tumor comes back down again. Two samurais to defeat this time. And finally, the last puzzle going counterclockwise is one, two, three, three, two. Let's pray. 
Looks good to me. And the tumor comes down hopefully for the last time here. And that was the end of the quest. And finally, we can go claim our reward for doing the quest, which is the Mask of Memories, a four-star catalyst blueprint. So you can go ahead and use that. Head to the blacksmith to check it out here. It's a pretty strange weapon. I can imagine it might be useful for like Mona's or I guess Lisa's as well. In Mona's case, you would need an Electro in your team. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it. Even though I had already completed this quest, it still took me uh, two hours. And if you are wondering, uh, we did do this on Bone's account. However, she also has a little account now that she is uh, quite fond of. So I'm sure she'll have a chance to play this quest herself anyway. So um, don't worry about that too much. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leaving a like on this video if you didn't do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.